Hey, hey. Hi. Sunday again. You've had a tough week, haven't you? Have I? Yeah, she ran into real bother with a, a bush and a spare tire. <laughs> Am I right? Something wrong with my spare tire. It's all fixed. Yeah, well. Anyway, uh, we've had a busy week. Everything's growing. Uh, we don't had any disasters this week, have we? No. No, I think no. it's been quite a successful old week. Um, don't think we've got much to bring to the table, do we? Might have a busy day tomorrow. I'm going out tomorrow. Of course, yeah. Um, I'll be grafting, don't worry. Alright, I'll enjoy my day out. Aye. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Tell friends. Anything you want to say? No. Unusually quiet tonight. <laughs> Catch you next week. <laughs> So it's Monday again. I am busy, hard at it as usual. Um, I'm pulling up some onions. Look at these. I mean, I say that's not a bad onion. Uh, I'm gonna get all these pulled up. I think these radishes and onions can be pulled up too because I just think the raised beds that are in here are fine for things that need heat to grow, but onions and radishes can grow outside. Um, I got all my show prep done last night with my strawberry jam, so I've got to go in and boil that. There's going to be a chutney on the go very shortly, and for the record, it's going to be better than Laura's. Um, don't tell her I said that. But yeah, I'm going to have a busy old day, trying to be productive. Oh, look at that. Um, I think I might give the greenhouse a little tidy up. Also, can we just take a minute to appreciate these sweet peas today? Tromboncinos caned up as well. I might make a sort of trellis for them. A lot of that radishes can probably come up. I would say that sweet corn needs a bigger pot. That tromboncino up there absolutely needs a bigger pot. It's not loving its life. I would say the tomatoes at the bottom there need to be pruned and then get these raised beds filled. So I'm hoping you can hear, but it is quite windy. Here we've got our lettuces. I plant some onions out here. Uh, Masuna, I believe that's cauliflower. More onions, more onions around here. <laughs> got a lot of onions actually. Here are some onions and the mixed brassicas. I believe that's purple kale. Potentially a sprout plant. I think that could be a neat plant. Here is where all the radishes got planted out. They all seem to have survived the night, although I think I do need to cover that. Uh, garlic, probably not too far off. I actually had some of that for lunch today and spinach is looking grand more purple kale again there's cabbages under here broccoli starting to starting to flower would you say starting to look good anyway that's all I know radishes in there and pea lettuce so all in all it's it's doing really well um over here in the pond <laughs> we've still got a lot of tadpoles I've seen no legs yet actually Lily's flowering. There's a pretty flower over there actually in that pond plant. That's looking good. But yeah, I feel like everything in the pond is, is doing away fine. But I would quite like to see a frog someday shortly. Uh, it feels a bit like history is repeating itself, but I've um, got some more boxes and crates to put the little plants in. I think they stack on top of each other, so I'm fairly sure it'll be uh, be handy, save some space. Let's try and get them home in one piece. So these are the stacking trays. Um, I reckon, Stuka, I reckon if we get some seedlings and some trees, we could put them between there, get a good few inches between each one. So it's currently uh, one in the morning. I haven't been able to sleep, so I've just come out to do a slug hunt and I've just noticed, I think one of our carrots are ready to be pulled. 
It does look quite big. Oh, I've got gloves on because I'm catching slugs. But you ready? <laughs> look at that. Look at this. I mean, some of them are a bit peedy, but I just kept pulling and they kept, they kept coming. Look at these. Just uh, continuing the, the slug hunt. Look at this. Hey, mate, come on. There's more holes in that leaf than leaf. Honestly, there's such a pain in the neck. You're going to go in the slug bar. Come here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want a pee drink, mate? There you go. Go in there. Go on. That's it. Have a drink on me. Cheers. Just nipped outside. It is half nine in the morning and it's already 37 and a half degrees in here. Mental. New alley, I'm still looking good. Look at the nasturtiums. Honestly, just that peaty pop of colour. And then about the, the tomatoes. I don't actually think it's going to be long until these start fruiting. I'm quite excited about. Sweet peas are looking beautiful. Tomoncino seems to be doing well since I popped it in the popped on its new stand. We have some strawberries here, they're still very green, but again I don't think it'll be long till they're ripening up a bit. Sweet corn's growing like a hero. Radishes, I must get them pulled up actually. I think we need to put stuff in this bed that needs heat. Uh, and I think I'm gonna make a beetroot and radish chutney. It'll be a good way to use them up and we'll get that bed freed up too. Oh and in fact that one, they're all flipping radishes, aren't they? Need to get them all up. Look hot. It's a nice day. It is a nice day. You up to? Did you break it? Nope. Oh, why are you changing it then? What's next? Go on then. <laughs> I'll try. I've seen your spare tire more than enough. <laughs> Did it? Did it! Woohoo! Just needs a little pumpy up. Pump it up. You have to, to pump it up. That's a song, isn't it? Yeah. Don't sing though. Mm. Alright. Ciao. Alright. Get it on. Here's you fixed it. Do it. Ooh. Running better than ever before. <laughs> New model. <laughs> Got wild flowers out now they're looking well the apple tree that had that furry stuff on it we sprayed it with neem oil and we've had it outside and it seems to be coming out i did a cheeky wee order from farmer gracie and bought a lot of bare roots and they are popping up here and here and here uh, nothing happening in that pot we have finally got black currants uh oh, sugar we're two plums they're not really growing much but they're they're still hanging on. Raspberries. Won't be long until we've... Well, we can eat them, actually. That one's got... Oh, look at that. That one's probably ready to eat. Uh, what else? What else? More black currants on here. We've got no apples as of yet. Um, and Laura had a bit of an issue with a bush. I'll actually show you that. It's up in the big greenhouse. Here we are. So, as you can see, she's certainly trimmed back the bush a bit and given it a bit more space because I think it was... It was too squashed, but there was, yep, yeah, we have a gooseberry. So, I feel like it's definitely happier already. Allium, delighted with me allium. The starshums are fairly opening up. Uh, all these tomatoes we really need to get rid of. Um, don't think there's anything else of interest. 